Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can use a transistor as a switch with your Arduino board. Now I got uh, just set up a real basic example of a switch being used here. We're just using the uh, simple blink sketch on the Arduino and um, I have pin 13 hooked to the transistor to flash the LED instead of having it just flashing it off of the Arduino board. Now this LED the Arduino board would handle the amount of current that's going to draw without a problem but just for this tutorial not having a big motor up here or a big string of a hundred LEDs I'll just um, demonstrate it this this way and uh, I'm pretty sure it'll make sense to you. <clears throat> so as you can see there's not a whole lot needed to do it. We've got uh, for how I have this set up right here, we got the transistor, two resistors, and a, the LED that we're using to be the example of our load that we're controlling. So let me show you how it works. And I printed out a schematic of this exact circuit I just had hooked up. And I'll go over it and uh, show you how you can use the transistor as a switch in your Arduino project. Now first we have the base of the transistor and we have that hooked to digital pin 13 because pin 13 in the blink program is the pin that you use. Now I'm using a 2N2222 transistor for this example so we don't want the full 5 volts going to it because that would actually fry it. Um, I forgot to put the data sheet here next to me, but if I remember right, it's around 3 volts is the maximum this needs. So I have a resistor of a value of 1K, and that's working perfectly fine with this transistor. If you use a different transistor, you're going to need to use a different value resistor. But if you were controlling something big, like the string of LEDs and stuff, you're probably not going to be using the 2 in 2222 you'd probably be using something like a Darlington transistor and this is a TIP120 and all this is it's like two transistors built together into one so you only got to hook one transistor up but there's like two in there and this handles a lot more current than the 2N2222 would um, and actually this one here you don't need the resistor either if you use a TIP 120 it will handle the 5 volts and that's actually the maximum rating on this is 5 volts and the Arduino board most of them I have are just shy of 5 volts they're putting out so there's no need to use a resistor with these but there's other transistors you can use as well <clears throat> so we got our base and what we got here is we got our LED and that's the load so this could be your string of LEDs, it could be a DC motor you're controlling. Now I said I set the schematic up just like I have it on the breadboard there. So I'm running off the Arduino's 5 volt supply. So now if you're running a string of LEDs, the Arduino is not going to power that. So instead of hooking it to your 5 volt here, what you do is you'd hook this to your external supply voltage supply whether it be 12 volt or 18 9 volt whatever the item you're connecting the device requires for voltage that's what you hook that to and then make sure you hook its ground to the arduino's ground you have to have a common ground or your bad things are going to happen so what we have is because we're using an npn transistor if you're using a PNP, which most likely with Arduino you would not be using, so I'm not going to go into that. But we're using an NPN. So you got your voltage coming into the de device straight from the voltage source, the positive. Now, the LED I'm using, if we ran the 5 volts through it straight, would fry it. So um, around a 220 to 300, somewhere in that range for the, the little LEDs is fine. And I actually, that circuit I have set up there, I have a 1K on there because it was so bright it was kind of blind in the camera. So you bring that through, the positive through from your power source, and you bring that into the collector of your transistor. Then from the emitter, you go to your common ground. 
Not too hard, is it? Pretty simple. Um, I really can't think of much else to go over. Um, using a transistor as a switch with your Arduino is real easy. And uh, there's a lot of applications where you wouldn't need to use a relay, which costs a few dollars, where these cost like 20 cents for the, the TIP120s and the little 2N222s. Two 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 and those will handle more than your Arduino board will, but um, not as much as this. And the 2N2222s two 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 are like 3 cents if you buy a whole bunch of them. But... Um, Check out in the uh, description below, I'll have a link to my website, and I'll have this schematic on here, and um, I'll also knock up another one where it shows the connections where for like a, and I'll have a DC motor in here in its place, and an external power source, so if this isn't quite making sense to you, maybe that schematic will. But uh, just remember the big thing when you use a separate power source, the grounds have to be common. Just do not put that 12 volts to any of the positive parts connections of the Arduino board or it's going to go pop. <clears throat> and that's why we're using a transistor. It acts like a switch. It lets the current flow through here, but it doesn't go back into the board. So it's pretty much just a solid state relay is what we're setting this up to be. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you found this information useful. Have a great day and have fun building.